Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today, I have exemplary AI on review. With this tool, you will be able to repurpose your audio and video content. You just upload your files and you will get transcripts, will be able to translate your videos, get summaries. For example, if you have a podcast, you can turn it into a blog post, just as an example. Here's a quick view. I have uploaded my short video and got summary, titles, chapters, keywords, so I will test it on a bigger video. As I mentioned, exemplary AI will give you transcription, translation, you will be able to generate content like summaries, get your subtitles, and even create shorter clips from your longer videos. And I'm excited to test this tool on a longer video, for example, to generate a blog post from a YouTube review video. Also, this tool includes AI helper. So for example, you will get YouTube titles and descriptions and other text content based on your videos or audio files. So regarding license tiers or plans, those are pretty straightforward. You're getting all of the features you just need to pick the number of minutes per month and that's it. And maximum what you can have is 1200 transcription minutes monthly. All right, so let's start with actual review and test. And before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to get more similar videos and give this video a like if you will find the content useful. All right, so let's add a file and I would like to import my recent YouTube video. It is about 20 minutes long, updated in depth review of Katep AI Writer. By the way, if you are in need of an AI writer, please check my review. I will leave the link to it in the description. Here it is. And actually in that video, I compare that against other AI writers, which are available at the moment on AppSumo. Okay, let's continue with the video. We can choose the content category, like a YouTube video, and based on that, we will get different kind of suggested content generated by AI. For YouTube, we're getting summary titles, reels. Those should be a short videos, tweets, keywords, chapters. That will be a time saver to generate the chapters for a 20 minute video. Let's see how it will work. Q&A. And if you choose general, here is the suggested type of content. But let's stick with YouTube video and let's process. Okay, the processing has started. Let's go there. All right, so we are ready and that was pretty quick. I see some of the content is already done and some is in progress. So looking at the summary, so in general, it is okay. The facts mentioned here are really from the video. However, probably those facts are not the major ones. Well, for 20 minute video, I would like to see a bit more detailed summary. All right, so let's check the next auto-generated content, keywords. Well, regarding keywords, I think those are too general. I think you will not be able to use these suggestions in your blog post. Those are just too general and are not focusing on a CatTap review specifically. Okay, moving next to suggested tweets. Yep, this one is on point and hashtags I think are good as well. Yep, so I think tweets are fine. Maybe a little bit editing here and there will be required, but those are fine. All right, Q&A section. Here we can see it defines speakers. For example, if you are doing a podcast, it will be useful to distinguish different speakers. Yep, so this is a Q&A about the video itself. So basically we are getting questions about what you can find in this video. Well, we've got 20 questions and answers. I believe for a review video, not all of those will be useful. However, maybe you can repurpose some of those. I am very interested in the chapters. So in that video, I actually created chapters myself. This is how it looks like. 
So if we are looking at suggested chapters, those are too long to be a chapter in YouTube description. Yeah, probably there are too much of those and those are very detailed. So maybe with some editing here and there, you will be able to use some, but not all of those. All right, so let's take a look at suggested generated blog. So regarding blog, I think it is not convenient that it generates, well, it basically describes like a speaker one provides an updated review. So I believe for blog posts, exemplary AI needs to fine tune the prompt. So it will actually look like a blog post and not like a summary of the video. So regarding a blog, well, actually it's not a blog post, it's video summary. And let's actually check generate AI content. Here we are getting some pre-populated prompts. Okay, let's choose title one. Let's go. It is in progress. Okay, so the title, I believe it suggested this one. Okay, not the best. I would prefer to generate a few to pick from. But anyway, I think you can define your own prompts here. And I believe they should be using GPT 3.5 Turbo. So let's try this prompt, generate nine timestamps for video chapters for YouTube video description with one short sentence summary of each chapter and define chapters that will be available for viewers. Not sure why it is called here generate report, but let's use our prompt and generate. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but generating the reports didn't work for me. I can't find where it went, but let's try ask AI with the same prompt to generate timestamps. Let's go. Okay. So I've got a response that it cannot generate timestamps. Not sure, but probably the chat feature is not connected to the transcript of the video. I don't know. Anyway, let's move to other features that exemplary AI provides. And with this tool, you can generate translation. So let's choose Spanish and translate. And that was pretty quick. So when you play the video, you will see highlighted text. This feature provides only text translation. So a very nice feature to have. Of course, I think you will need to edit and review the translation. But anyway, it was pretty quick and really nice to have. What else we can do, create a thread so you can edit and put comments right here in the tool. So that is nice. Okay, moving to the next feature, creating clips. So let's go to transcript page. And I believe we can select the text and then create a clip or audiogram. So here we've got a short version of our video and we can add subtitles. They should be shown here. Yep, nice feature. Okay, moving to the next feature, stories. So probably it's just another way to generate short form content. Okay. Next feature, subtitles. Let's generate. All right, we've got our subtitles and I believe we can edit those and realign real time. Yep, nice. And of course, you will be able to download that in SRT, BTT formats and as text. What would be nice is to download subtitles for Spanish or other generated language. but I can't find this option. All right, moving to the next feature, translation. Not sure what will it do because we already translated our transcript, but anyway, let's go. Yep, actually this is the same feature. It just added another language here as a duplicate. All right, dubbing next feature and actually it is not available yet so skipping that all right so i think that's it for the review 
of exemplary AI and we are moving to the conclusion and summary. Well, I think it might work for some type of content. In my case, for a very detailed review video for about 20 minutes, it provided auto-generated content like summary, Q&A, though I cannot say that I will be able to use that kind of content. For example, keywords were not very useful and too broad, not very focused on Cartier preview itself. Chapters were probably too detailed. Tweets were fine. I liked how quick the translation worked. So I think that's a very useful feature to have. You are able to play with your subtitles. That's also nice to have. As I mentioned before, for some type of content, I think it might work. And the idea is actually great. So you upload a video and get automatically a lot of short form and long form text based content. So the idea is great. However, I think exemplary AI need to fine tune the prompts to AI so they provide a bit better targeted content. Anyway, if you would like to try this tool, the link will be in the description. Please give this video a like if you find this content useful and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.